in this video we are going to be solving the additional mathematics uh, 2016 paper paper 2 ADMA 2016 paper 2 okay so question 1 our question 1 reads uh, solve the following system of equations okay x plus 3y minus 2x is equal to 5 then 3x minus y plus z is equal to 9 then x minus 2y minus 3z is equal to negative 7 okay okay so in order to solve these First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this equation equation 1, this equation, equation 2, this equation, equation 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. So solving equation 1 and Two simultaneously gives this is going to be x plus 3y minus 2z uh, minus 2z yeah sorry this is z is equal to 5 then 3x minus y plus z is equal to 9 that is equation 2 Okay, we are solving these so that we should uh, get an equation that will have two unknowns, which will be uh, better to solve because we'll also get another equation which will have two unknowns from by solving equation one and three. Okay, so first of all, we're going to get rid of the x, so times three times one. Then this is going to give us three x plus nine y minus minus six z is equal to 15 then that will just be 3x minus y plus z is equal to 9 okay then to get rid of the x we subtract this will be 0 then this and this will give us 10y 10y uh, minus 7 z is equal to this is going to give me 6. Okay. Then, now, getting to what, what I was saying, solving equation 1 and 3 simultaneously. Simultaneously gives. Okay. So, equation 1 is x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to 5. Then, x minus 2 y minus 3 z is equal to negative 7 that is our equation 2 okay so our x is already balanced up so this is going to be 0 uh, that would be 5 y this is going to be plus z is equal to 12 okay so now I'm going to solve this equation here and this one here simultaneously I'll call this one equation 4 and call this one equation 5 equation 5 okay so now solving equation 4 and 5 simultaneously gives okay so equation 4 is 10y minus 7z is equal to 6 then 5y plus z is equal to 12 okay i'm going to get rid of, of the z here so i'm going to multiply this one by one and this one by seven that will be and this is going to give me 10y minus 7z let's go to 6 then that will be 35y plus 7z is equal to uh, 7 times times 12 is 84 so to get rid of the z I'm going to add so this and this will give me 45y is equal to then this and this one will just give me 0 so 6 plus 84 that would be 90 so over 45 over 
45 my y will be equal to 2 okay that's my y value then to find my x value my z value i'm going to uh substitute uh 2 in this equation okay i'm going to do that here okay so i'm going to do that here okay i'm going to do that here all right all right so our equation sorry just do this okay so our equation is our equation is 5y plus z is equal to 12 then our y is 2 so 5 2 plus z is equal to 12 so this is going to be 10 plus z is equal to 12 then z will be equal to 10 oh sorry 12 minus 10 so z is equal to 2 okay then substituting this into equation 1 this is our equation 1 will give or, or rather let's just substitute it into equation 2 because it's it's a simpler equation equation 2 so that would be 3x sorry minus y plus z is equal to 9 then we know 3x minus our y is 2 our z is 2 is equal to 9 so 3x minus 0 is equal to 9 so 3x will just be equal to 9 then x will be equal to 3 because we're going to divide everything here by 3 so our solution set is therefore solution is x is equal to 3 y is equal to 2 z is equal to 2 okay so that's our question one so we now go to question two question two reads uh find the range of values of x for each uh 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay. Okay, so we just solve this one uh, using a. Uh, let's use factorization. I think factorization might can work on this one. So 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 than or equal to zero so we know that uh it's in this equation is in the form a x squared plus bx plus c where b is the sum and our sum here in this case will be seven negative seven sorry then c is our product and the product is a times c which is just going to be which is just a uh, 3 times 2 so in short this is equal to 6 so our, uh, our product is 6 and so we have to find uh, numbers that when you add will give you negative 7 but when you multiply they give you 6 positive 6 and that's just a uh, negative 1 and negative 6 okay so that will be 2x squared minus 6x minus x plus 3 less than or equal to 0 so this is going to be 2x x minus 3 minus 1 x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0 so 2x minus 1 x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0 so 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 or x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0 so x is greater than or equal to 3 and uh, 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 so the one goes this way to be x is greater than 2x is greater than or equal to 1 which is going to be x is greater than or equal to 1 over 2 since to get rid of the two, we multiply this by half, so that would be that. Okay. So, yeah, so these are our solutions. X is greater than or equal to 12. 
or x is greater than or equal to 3. So that is our solution. Okay, since they said the range of values, so our values will range from 1 over 2. So less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 3. Our values will range, we have this range. Okay. So now, for B, this was A. Now going on to B. B says express 3x squared. 3x squared minus 24x plus 50 plus 50 in the form a x plus b squared plus c okay this is x so what you just do here is is this trick i learned first of all you expand this that will be a x squared plus bx plus bx plus b squared plus c so that will be a x squared plus 2b x plus b squared plus c then you multiply a throughout that will be a x squared plus 2a b x plus a b squared plus c okay so so now this part will be equal to this so that will be equal to 3x squared and this part here will be equal to this so that will be equal to negative 24x and this part will be equal to this part here so that will be equal to 50 okay so what we do here is ax squared is equal to 3x squared so our a will be equal to 3 then for this other part 2ab is equal to negative 24 but you know our a is 3 so when you put 3 here that would be 2 times 3 that would be 6b will be equal to negative 24 so b is equal to us 1 over 6 when we divide 24 by 6 it gives us negative 4 okay then for this one this side a b squared plus c will be equal to 50 so what we do here is that we know that our a is 3 our b is negative 4 negative 4 squared is 16 then plus c is equal to 50 okay so this here 3 times uh 3 times 16 is 48 plus c is equal to 50 so c is equal to 50 minus 48 our c will be equal to 2 okay so we're writing it in this form a x plus b squared plus c when we write this our a is 3 so that would be 3 open brackets x plus our b is negative 4 squared and plus our c is 2 so this is just the same as 3 x minus 4 squared plus 2 okay so we have written it we get a mark for that and then uh hence find the coordinates of the turning point okay the coordinates of the turning point all right so what you should know is that uh, my turning point turning point or tp is equal to uh, b squared over 4 no actually b over 2a negative b over 2a then f of negative b over 2a okay so this is how you find your turning point but instead of doing this you can just simply get the x value that will be so what you do here is x minus 4 you equate it to 0 then your x will be equal to 4 then for your b 
all you do is you just get this figure right there so so uh oh sorry for your why you just get that figure right there which is two okay so in short our turning point will be equal to four comma two